Hey, it's Golf Boys and Tricks at the Santa Barbara Zoo today. And this makes me think of Harry Potter when he's in, I think it's the first movie, he's inside, they go to like the zoo in London and he pops the snake out. I'm gonna find some place to put that clip in this video today, but uh, makes me laugh thinking about that. But there's definitely some snakes here. We'll find a good place to put it in. I think there's like a big, a big one put up. But anyways, today we're gonna talk about maps inside of Wizards Unite. So I figured the Santa Barbara Zoo would be a great place to talk about it, maybe show a little bit of the Pokemon Go map and compare it to what the map for Wizards Unite is gonna be like. So while we're here today, we're gonna be checking it out. So stay tuned, it's gonna be good. So here are the overviews of the types of things you're gonna see in Wizards Unite. You have inns, which is basically like your Pokestop for everyone familiar with Pokemon Go. You basically refill on health and items and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's a little bit different, but basically you're restoring your magical powers, your energy to move forward in the game. So that's basically what that is. It's kind of like potions, hyper potions, stuff like that. Like that's the type of stuff you're gonna get from these. It's food to restore your energy. So you get to stop in the inn, and you get to make you know yourself rest a little bit and then you go so it basically each one has a five minute cooldown which is again very similar to what you see in pokemon go so that is an in and that's one of the many things that we're going to be finding and one of the important things to know about the wizards unite map is that there's going to be a lot more stuff it's not going to just be you know pokemon pokestops and uh, gyms they're going to have a lot of other stuff going on too so there's going to be a lot more going on on this map which i think a lot of people are going to like there's a, a kind of a lot more to interact with a lot more to see it's a pretty cool map um so the first thing you're going to see are inns the next thing is greenhouses so greenhouses are basically the place you're going to stop in and find potions so you're going to dig into into the greenhouse and check out the stuff and you're going to basically find potion items so you know think of sprout mrs sprout professor sprout and uh that's basically what you're going to be doing you're going to go in different stuff because a lot of in the books and in the movies a lot of potion ingredients come from the greenhouse come from herbology classes that you do so i think it's uh makes sense that they're doing greenhouses in order to find potions which will we don't really know the full list of what types of potions you'll be able to brew but i can think of a few polyjuice potions stuff like that um draft of living death things like that that i'm sure you'll be able to brew so we'll see if that's something that they actually end up doing or not um but i'm sure there's going to be a ton of potions that they end up bringing into the game even if it's not at first i'm sure they will put those into the game at some point so a lot of different potions that you'll be able to collect from greenhouses um, so keep an eye out for those as well So penguins are my favorite animal. There's a bunch of them right here. I love it. You can actually feed these penguins here. They don't let you do that today, but they do let you feed them some days. I'm totally gonna come back and do that. So check these guys out.
So the other thing you're gonna be seeing a lot of is landmarks. And I'm not exactly sure how they're gonna incorporate landmarks in terms of the spots that they're gonna pick, but it's basically an area which you have foundables and I'll get into foundables a little bit later but they're basically um, think of them right now as items um, or unlockable things so basically what a landmark is is basically a, a space an area in which foundables are more likely to spawn and you have to interact with with foundables it's kind of um, not a great analogy but it's kind of like the Pokemon foundables are basically like the Pokemon of the game that's what spawns so like how pokemon spawn and pokemon go well foundables are going to be what spawn in wizards unite so that's what to take a look at and landmarks is probably where you're going to find larger clusters of when they spawn so take a look out for those there should be a lot of them they're going to use you know talking a little bit about how they're going to do points of interest or basically um, locations in the game and it's going to work a lot like Pokemon Go and Ingress. They're going to use the exact same um, markers that they use in Ingress. So anytime you, anytime Ingress has a spot added, when they roll out new, uh, like sometimes they do this in Pokemon Go, new locations added into Ingress, they do an update into Pokemon Go and all the new um, locations inside of Ingress go into Pokemon Go. So that's what you're going to end up seeing with Wizards Unite is all the Ingress portals are going to end up becoming portals or inns or greenhouses or probably landmarks inside of Wizards Unite. So we should have a, a lot of them. There are a lot of Pokestops and like I said I'm at the zoo and I'm going to be showing you guys some of what the Pokemon Go landmarks look like currently at a zoo but uh, you can, you're can you going to find a lot more in places like this, places out, outdoors, because again, Niantic is really encouraging to get out into the world and to explore your local area and town and zoos and parks and all those things. So I expect once we take a look into the Pokemon Go um, app and look at the map there, we're going to be able to see a lot of the stuff that we can anticipate that we're going to see inside of Wizards Unite. So if you're wondering, if you didn't play Pokemon Go, but you are curious what Pokemon Go is going to be like, or sorry, what Wizards Unite is going to be like, and what kind of markers and get familiar with your town, I really suggest opening up, getting Ingress, getting Pokemon Go, so you can actually get an idea of where your Pokestops are going to be, or where your landmarks are going to be. So Pokestops and gyms are what you're going to want to look for in, um, in Pokemon Go, and then portals and Ingress and that's what's going to turn into different greenhouses, different inns, different landmarks. Um, and then, of course, where there are large Pokemon spawns, you're also going to be able to find probably a lot of foundables. So I definitely suggest if you're not a Pokemon Go player or Ingress player, you go check it out now because you're going to really be able to learn a lot from um, game, playing those games and seeing where the different stuff is. So the next thing you have is foundables, and those are things that you can find throughout the game. It's kind of what spawns in the world. So basically there's all types of things and you basically have a challenge that you have to do when unlocking them. So it's not just like a Pokemon where you pick it up, you tap on it, you spin the ball, you catch it. These are different things that you have to do. Everything from saving Harry from a Dementor to calming and saving a Hippogriff or another magical creature. So there's a lot of these types of things in the game and there's gonna be a lot of this stuff that Wizards Unite is going to have and we're gonna have a lot of fun looking at all these things and discovering what to do and what you're going to get achievements on while going through this. But it's definitely something that they're going to i see them in terms of foundables that they're going to continue to add to the game just like there's a lot of different pokemon they're going to add a lot of different fantastic beasts a lot of different items that you can unlock different types of spells that you have to do to save um people and stuff like that so 
it should be a lot of fun. Infoundables are going to be basically your, your standard um, encounter during the game, uh, which should be really awesome. So those are, that's kind of the map. That's what you're going to find on the map right now in Harry Potter Hogwarts Mysteries. So that's what you should take a look out for. And I'm going to actually pull up my, um, my Pokemon Go app so you guys can see what stuff at the Santa Barbara Zoo is going on right now and what that may translate to in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. All right, so you can see we're at the Santa Barbara Zoo right now and there's basically a couple Pokemon, gyms, and Pokestops. So the Pokestops are, are going to turn into inns, but we're also gonna have greenhouses. So those are the types of, the, these Pokestops here are what we're gonna end up seeing as inns and greenhouses in Wizards Unite. So the other thing you're gonna see is you have this gym here, and these are some of the other things you're gonna see. They call them fortresses in Wizards Unite, and those are basically where you're gonna have to battle and team up with other witches and wizards of other professions to go through. And there's gonna be a lot on that as well, so I'll save that for another video as well. But these are basically the things you're gonna be able to see on the map in Wizards Unite. You're gonna see these basically different uh, different places to spin stops, like inns and greenhouses, um, so all over. So this is basically what I'm gonna be seeing for when I play at the Santa Barbara Zoo. These are the things I'm gonna see and the gyms that are gonna be around. So that's, uh, that's basically what you can be looking forward to, especially if you wanna get acquainted to your area where you're gonna be playing. Open up Pokemon Go, see what kind of Pokemon are gonna be spawning, because where, where the Pokemon spawn, that's where the Foundables are gonna be spawning. And then all these different Pokestops are gonna be inns and greenhouses, and then the gyms are probably gonna be these fortresses. So definitely keep an eye out, check it out, get familiar with your area so when it launches, you'll have a real good idea of where you should go to get the greenhouse items to get for the potions and also how to get um, your energy for the different inns that you need to go to. So definitely check it out. That's how the map is gonna be laid out in Wizards Unite. Hope you guys enjoyed the zoo with me today. Had a lot of fun here. Uh, so definitely check out the rest of it and it's gonna be good. All right, can't wait for, can't wait for Wizards Unite to come out. Should be fantastic. I'm really excited to see the map and all the stuff they're gonna be doing inside the game. It does look actually a lot more extensive than what Pokemon Go has done. So I'm excited that they've really put a lot of effort and energy into expanding what the game can be like. And I think it's gonna open up a lot of different things for Harry Potter fans. So I think they're doing a pretty good job so far.